Welcome to another segment in Word of Sewing. Last last, we look at simple stitches, where we point out um, temporary stitches and permanent stitches. Today, we are going into another topic. Length to embroider. Embroider means to stitch a decorative design on fabric with needle and thread of various colors. Embroidery is one of the decorative stitches. Decorative sewing can be sewn just like the regular stitch. They are generally wider than regular stitches. Decorative sewing does the functions of basic sewing, joining to fabric, finishing the edge of the fabric or stitching the fabric with plates or darts. Back to our topic for today, which is simple decorative stitches. What are decorative stitches? Decorative stitches are used on garments for decoration and beautifying them. They are used for finished raw edge of tablecloths, beds, pillowcases, and so on. Decorative stitches is also a very simple uh, garment that can be made more attractive by an imaginative use of simple embroidery. Even the beginner who has learned some basic sewing skill can create simple design, which, if so neatly, can look extremely effective. What are the examples of decorative stitches? They are chain stitches, stem stitches, satin stitches, feather stitches, whip running stitches, hairy bone stitches, french knots, and loop stitches. We will take them one by one with explanation. Chain stitches. This stitch may look complicated a bit, but uh, with some practice, you will get it. It is another one that is great for an outline or the frame around a pattern design. The stitch gives the appearance on the wrong side to look like back stitches. You can see it from the image there. To so make chain stitches, one, you draw a useful design. Two, fasten the thread using the back stitch. Three, bring out the needle a short space down. Four, put the needle on the side of the first leg and bring it out. Lastly, fasten the thread to cut off at the end. Stem stitches. This stitch got its name, you guess, from used to create flower, stem, and vines. But really, it is a nice option for anything that needs to curve. Similar to the split stitch, start by creating one straight stitch forward. Then, bring the needle and closing up underneath the fabric. But instead of going through the center of your initial stitch, just go to the side of the stitch. Satin stitch. When you are creating art or filling in leaves, it is likely you want the design to have a smooth appearance. That is why this stitch comes in. It has a nice raised texture and gets the job done super fast. To make it, first, Draw out the shape you want to feel to use as a guide. With your needle and the flows, create one stitch that extends from one end of the shape to the other. Bring the needle up again, just next to the opposite side of the initial stitch. Keep the stitches close to one another as required to fill the pattern or design you are working 
width. Feather stitch, another way to rip up the chain stitch, which uses the second stitch to anchor the loops of the previous one. This particular chain direction works well when you want to cover more space. To make feather stitch, start by bringing the needle and the flossing up through the fabric and creating a straight stitch. Don't put the floss all the way through. Allow a loop to form and bring the needle up through that loop. Space the next stitch over in the opposite direction from the previous stitch. Create another loop by not allowing the floss to go completely through the fabric. Pull the needle up through the loops and repeat on the opposite side. Whip running stitch. In an embroidery techniques of whipping, an embroidery stitch is a terrific thing to know. Whipping a stitch gives you a whole new stitch with a whole new look. For whip running stitch, first you need to know how to work the most basic embroidery, that is the running stitch. Whip running stitch is a simple, quick stitch to work. This stitch is one of many line stitches that can be used for hold or delicate outline, depending on your choice of trade. In the image, the first line of stitching is, is a whipped stitch. In this case, it is back stitch, but you can achieve the same look with a running stitch. The whip running stitch looks great when using two colors of thread. You can see it from the image there. You can change the look of the stitch by varying the spaces of your running stitches. Hairy bow stitch is also a decorative stitch used to hold aim of thick fabric together or for patch work. To make it, insert the needle on the upper surface of the material and bring it out on the lower stitches line at the left side. Also, insert it on the upper stitches line a little to the left, right, leaving a very small stitch to your left. Repeat again, but this time on the lower right and take a very small stitch to your left and repeat all along the process until it's finished. French knot stitch. This decorative stitch makes a pretty asset design throughout your project and you even need two hands to pull it off. But don't worry, it is not tough. First, bring the needle and the flossing up through the fabric. Then wrap the flossing around the needle twice. Hold the head of the floss taut and bring the needle down just next to the space where it came through the fabric. Keep holding the floss taut as you pull the thread through. You can Vary the size of your French knots by wrapping the flows around the needle anywhere between one and three times. Loop stitch. This loop stitch approach is very different from ordinary hand sewing. In the simplest hand stitch, a length of a thread is tied to the small eye at the end of the needle. The sewer passes the needle and the attached thread all the way through two pieces of fabric from one side to the other and back again. Another uses of decorative stitches is fabric from ribbon or fabric strip. You can do that by placing strips of ribbon or fabric side by side on some interfaces and use a decorative stitches to sew the stripes together, which you can see from our image there. The next one is machine lace. You can use this also, the decorative stitches to make a nice machine lace and also use it for edges and trimming. Now that you have enough of um, uses of decorative stitches,
And once you start using them, you will probably come up with a dozen more ideas. Thanks for watching. Now that you have mastered the basic decorative stitches, you are much ready for anything because you have already know most of the basic stitches you need to know. Ensure you do your assignment on page 38 to 40. Remember, this is the time for you to learn, create, anywhere, anytime. Bye!